Hi guys, welcome back for the next installment of my Starkiller uh, 2.0 conversion tutorial. This video is going to cover drilling and tapping the holes for the detail screws on the shroud. I'm using uh, these 832 hex cap, uh, cap screws. Um, they are a little bit long, so I'm probably going to end up having to cut them down. I've got a couple already cut down. Kind of see there. So um, we'll see how this goes. Um, so I've already got where I'm going to be drilling the holes marked on both sides. You kind of see the last one there. Um, but what I've also done is with my automatic center punch here, I've already put a uh, hole or a marked where the hole is going to be, and it's real simple. You just set your punch down and press, and it pops, makes a dent in the metal. So that you can have a good start point for your hole. Now the measurements, um, basically what I did was I took, I measured up a quarter of an inch from this edge right here. And I marked this way. And then I have them set between the, in between the ribs, the black area here, the V shape here. Um, and that's where the screws are going to sit. They're going to actually sit down in that, even though I'm not going to be drilling into this. I'll just be drilling into the shroud. Um, but they're going to sit down inside of that to kind of give them some additional support, structure, whatever. They're really not functional. They're just there for looks. So um, now that I've got all of my holes marked with my center punch, I'm going to go drill those real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got the six holes drilled there and there. They look pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my I have a 832 tap here and I'm going to put it into my tap handle which is right here. Now usually you want to make sure when you're doing this that um, they're, that it's pretty well lubricated. Um, I found that with thinner materials, um, you can kind of forego lubrication, what have you. Um, it really doesn't make that big of a difference if you go slow and you take it easy. Um, but one of the most important things is that you get your tap set straight before you start turning. That way when you put the screw in it sits right and it will go in straight. So that's all there is to that. It's really easy. Like I said, just make sure everything goes in straight so that the screw will sit right when you're all done. Sometimes you may have to back it out a little bit and then go back 
in to kind of get it set straight, get the threads done right. This stuff's whatever this shroud is made of is actually pretty soft material. So it's not uh it's not that difficult. the first three done. Now we're going to do the other three. First time I did this, I was pretty nervous because I didn't want to screw it up. But now that I've done it a few times, quite a few times actually, it's um, it's pretty easy. It's not uh, it's not at all as difficult or as challenging as I thought it was going to be. the last one. Now we'll take a couple of these screws here and we'll actually I'm going to take and clean it up, clean up the inside a little bit with some sandpaper. Do the outside as well. like everything is set right. to take these back out so I can put the shroud back together and then I'm going to cut down a couple more of these screws 
so that they sit right. All right, so let me go cut these screws down and I will get back with you guys in just a minute. All right, so we're back. Um, took me a little longer than what I wanted to, but we got it done. Um, <clears throat> so there is the emitter end with the detail screws in it. Um, I ended up cutting them down pretty short. They barely stick out past the inside of the shroud, but that's fine. I'll be able to take the shroud out without having to remove all of those. So, it's all good. Uh, basically, I just, I used a, uh, I've got a cutting wheel and a sanding drum for my Dremel. Held them with a pair of pliers, cut them down to the length that I wanted, and then uh, cleaned them up with the sanding drum. Really not too difficult. Um, but, uh, but yeah. So, there it is. All done. Um... So join me next time. Uh, I think I'm going to do the grip next. Um, finish that up. Paint and all of that stuff. So uh, for, for now, we're good. Uh, we're done. Um, we'll see you next time. Thanks again.